Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have my April monthly highlights to share with you today, and I'm using this really pretty rose gold foiled kit from Nikki Plus 3. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the top bars. Oh, my pens are the Symboline Marking Pen from Taiwan, which I use for glossy stickers, and the Pen Gems with the Pilot High Tech C refill, which I use for the Erin Country paper, as well as any premium matte or regular matte stickers. So this is, I think, my first time using a monthly kit from Nikki Plus 3. She makes really gorgeous kits. You do have to put in the days of the week yourself, which I thought was really interesting. This makes it possible for you to use this kit in other planners, I guess, but I don't know how the proportions would work for that. So while I do that, I'll talk a little bit about my monthly highlights if you're new to my channel. For every month in my Erin Condren, I like to jot down a highlight in each day for the monthly because I don't use it to plan ahead. And on the days that I don't have a highlight down or I just don't remember, I like to fill it in with Simply Gilded Washi or a decorated full box that comes with the kit. So here on Monday, it was April Fool's Day, we had a series of events during that Monday, like let's just say it was a super Monday Monday, which led to us eating out for dinner, which we don't usually eat out for dinner like as a family on a weekday, but that's what happened and it was actually really nice. So that's what I put down for my highlight. The chopsticks are from Paper and Milk. On Tuesday, I finished all open orders that day, which is always really exciting. And I used a Girl Boss Munchkin from Once More With Love. On Thursday, I didn't have a highlight down, so I put down some staggered Simply Gilded Washi. I love bringing in Simply Gilded Washi for my monthlies, as you know. It's such a great way to use it, especially because I have so many pretty ones, and I don't get to use them that often throughout each week. Like, I only usually use one or two each week, so this is a great way to pull in a bunch of them. On the 4th, I slept without abandon. That's what I put down. Basically... I just slept. I allowed myself to sleep for as long as I wanted to, and I don't even know, I don't even want to know how many hours I slept for that day or how long I napped for, but it felt really good. I used a Lola from Banana Doodle Shop along with a heart arrow from my shop to mark that. On Friday, I went out for lunch with my sister, and I used a salad sticker from Happy Daya. On Saturday, again, didn't have a highlight down, so I put down some washi. Like I was saying about the sleep, you probably all know this if you've been following me for a while, but I do struggle with sleep sometimes, with insomnia, with nightmares, so oftentimes I'll wake up feeling really exhausted if I had nightmares the night before or just didn't sleep well, so it's always really nice when I can just allow myself to sleep without having to wake up at a certain time or whatever. One of my favorite things to do when the weather is warmer and now that California is out of a drought is have a beer and wash the cars during golden hour. So I put down a beer from Christian Designs and a cleaning sticker from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that. I think it's a really fun way to be active and, you know, it's, it's fun like playing with the hose and everything. Sometimes when I don't want to go to the gym, I'll just wash the cars instead and it's so chill. I bring out my speakers and blast some music, have a beer, wash the cars. It's awesome. I really love it. So that's what I did on the 7th. On the 8th, there was a new episode of The Voice, which I love watching, especially because John Legend is a coach now. So I use this Hulu sticker is from Moonlight Paper Co. And then the popcorn sticker, I believe, is from... I'm actually not sure. Oh, it's from Planning World, I think, in her mini semi-transparent icon that she came out with recently. On the 9th, my sister and I went out to Chick-fil-A for breakfast, and I used a sticker to mark that from the Coffee Monsters Co. On the 10th, I had a super zen yin yoga class, and it's like during, it's like in the evening right now with spring and summer. It's right about the time of golden hour, and it's in the middle of the week, and the teacher is my favorite yoga teacher, so it's my favorite yoga class to attend every week. Yin yoga is basically sort of like meditative yoga where you hold poses for several minutes. I find that it's a great way to unwind and open up because I hold so much tension in my body. On the 11th, my sister brought back Starbucks for me, which was awesome. I love when somebody brings me coffee, as you know. The coffee sticker is from Banana Doodle Shop. 
And then on the 12th, I must have spent some time with loved ones that day because that was my highlight. And the Love More is a digital from Banana Doodle Shop that I made into a sticker. On, I guess I'll go over what happened on Saturday later. Well, I guess I'll go over now because I didn't have a highlight down for the 14th and 15th. So I'm just decorating that space now. So the, what is that? The 13th was a Renegade Craft Fair, which is a craft fair that happens in, they go around the States and I think even internationally now. And basically a lot of small business owners vend there and I love going there to explore and walk around and meet a lot of small business owners. And I always find my favorite things there. So I love going every year. I think they have it a couple times a year in San Francisco. So that's what I did on the 13th and I used a craft sticker also from Banana Doodle Shop to mark that which you'll be able to see when I flip the planner back over. So on the 16th I had a really strong leg day which is always a great feeling and the gym time sticker is from Crafts by Towie. So here on the 17th through the 20th I was in Lake Tahoe with Carolyn from Carolyn Plans. Lake Tahoe is a lake that's nestled in the mountains right on the California-Nevada border and I go pretty much every year. We go skiing there every year and it's my first time in several years that I went not during skiing season but there was a little bit of snow left and the lake was just absolutely stunning. We did like a mini getaway and I spent time with Carolyn and her sister and her sister's family, which is really awesome. So on the 17th, I used these two girls. This is totally us from Toffee Bananas. They're like holding shopping bags and coffee and green juice. And then on the 18th, I really enjoyed spending time with Carolyn and her family. So I use this family time sticker that's actually meant to mark my family, like my parents and my two siblings, but I thought it was fitting. Those little pandas are from Happy Daya, by the way. So the 19th, my highlight, of course, was gorgeous Lake Tahoe. We went out to the lakeside and I did yoga. We read. It was, I mean, the view was so beautiful. I think, well, I know I have Lake Tahoe saved as a highlight series on my personal Instagram, at Mandy Dreams. So if you're curious about what it looks like, definitely go check that out. I actually, when I'm feeling like I need to step away for a moment or need some time just to get away for a moment and I can't like physically get away I'll go and look at my Lake Tahoe story because just the mountains the snow the lake it's just so beautiful so anyway shameless plug I guess for my personal Instagram on the 20th I didn't have a highlight down so again put down some washi oh this bow by the way Nikki plus three makes such gorgeous foiled bows that one came with the kit Again, putting down the washi. I like to play around with different ways to kind of pattern them out because obviously I love the way that it looks staggered, but I don't know, it's kind of cool to have a little fun sometimes. On the 21st, I put down this plain sticker that came with the kit on top of a flag. We are doing a family trip to Asia again this year in the fall, which I'm so excited for. Last year we went to Hong Kong and Tokyo. This year we're going back to Hong Kong and a few other cities or places in Asia as well, which I am so excited for. I think I said that already, but yeah, it's gonna be my first time in a couple of these places and I'm really looking forward to, I'm probably vlog and share it on my personal Instagram as well, which I've been saving cities as highlights there. And I like to, again, look back when I wanna get away but can't physically, so anyway. That's what I put down as my highlight. On the 22nd, I put down this Hobonichi full box from, that's from Once More With Love, and it says, not all who wander are lost. So cute with the globe. On the 23rd, we celebrated one of the Boba Bitches' birthdays early, and it was Julia's birthday, or hold on a second. April 23rd is Julia's birthday. We did celebrate her birthday early last month, which I think I mentioned in my highlights. Anyway, I put down that it was her birthday for the highlight. And then on the 24th, I went to a brewery with a very close friend of mine and my sister. We are high school friends and we were catching up, which was so great. And I used some cheersing munchkins from Once More with Love to mark that. On the 25th, I think around this time was the Sephora VIB sale. So I 
kind of went ham. Well, I didn't go ham. I was actually very good this year. But I placed a Sephora order for some things that I had been wanting for a while, so that's always really exciting. And the Sephora sticker is from Moonlight Paper Co. On the 22nd, or sorry, the 26th, we went out to my favorite ice cream place with my sister and my friend again, and this ice cream girl, which I love, and oh my gosh, it's summer now, so I probably should go there more often before the weather cools down. That girl is from Whimsical Cat Studio. On the 27th, there was a block party in the new city center that opened in my near my town or in my town, and we went there. My mom and I got boba guys. It was awesome. We got some like free food and fun stuff. On the 28th, I put down a full box that came with a kit. I got sick around that time, so that's why I don't have any highlights down because I just was in bed pretty much all day. On the 30th, I did try on some dresses because I was going to Vegas that following weekend for Marg from Once More With Love's bachelorette party, and I used this girl from Fox and Pip to mark that. So that's it for the highlights. I'm going to put down the washi strips as I usually do in every month for the days that aren't in the month. And as you know, if you've been watching my highlights this year, I've decided to go with the horizontal watchy banners for the sake of time. I'm just super speeding through that. And as usual in the sidebar, I put down a quotation or an intention that carried me through the month. And this month is from Morgan Harper Nichols. Love has not let you go. Short, sweet, and I love that. I really have been loving her writing lately. So because I messed up my writing and I had to white it out, I decided to use this gorgeous strip that I didn't get to use that came with the kit. I thought might as well. So that is it for my April monthly highlights. Here is what I have left. And of course, a Viv Wiggle to show you the beautiful foil and the spread. I think Viv Wiggles look especially gorgeous on monthly spreads because of all the washi. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support as always. I will see you in my next video. Bye.